For those who don't know, I'm Josie and this is my dad, Peter, and we have started a weekly baking show together. Um, today, um, in our last videos, we started with a, a lemon chiffon cake, we did some crepes in our last video, and then in this video, um, we're going to be doing some cinnamon rolls um, made all entirely by us. Um, the dough, the icing, everything we'll be making from scratch. You want to talk about the, the dough a little bit? Yeah, so the dough we're going to make is similar to a brioche, but it's a little bit lighter. It doesn't have quite as much butter and egg in it. Uh, it's what the French would call a milk bread dough or pan au lait. So we're going to mix that up, and I'm going to demonstrate mixing that by hand, but you could also make it with a stand mixer uh, with a hook attachment. So it's similar to making a bread dough. It's a yeasted dough, uh, but we're going to, um, most of our ingredients are going to be combined in the beginning, and then we're going to uh, add the butter in toward the very end, so that way it won't affect the gluten. Uh, but we'll show you how that works. It's not too hard to do. It's a lot of fun and quite tasty. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got flour, sugar, salt, yeast in here. So I'm just gonna blend these up a little by hand, and then I'm gonna make a well. I'm gonna make a big well in here. I've got two eggs, uh, and everything should be roughly room temperature. Um, it's gonna mix up easier, and you're gonna have your dough's gonna rise faster. So we've got milk, eggs. doing that until it becomes kind of a thick batter. So once I've got this really thick, I can start putting in the rest of the flour. I just keep pressing that down with my fingertips. side. You don't need a high gluten flour, but you don't want to use a pastry flour. It feels pretty sticky now, but it's a cohesive dough at this point. And then I'm going to knead it by picking it up, folding it over on itself. too wet you can add flour to it. A lot of times I'll hold back a little liquid in the beginning just to check on that. Uh, but you can, you can add a little more flour, a little more liquid. What I'm doing is I'm picking it up and I'm pulling it over on itself and then I'm picking it over from the side and doing it again. And in that way um, I'm not pushing it against the bench so even though it's sticky it'll still need okay. You're going to need to do that for about 10 minutes to get it well developed. to soften. It's about one stick of butter, about a quarter of a pound or so. And we're just going to take it and just kind of smash it up a little bit. 
And just kind of let's take of some it? of it. Let's just take about half of it. We're going to smash it on with the dough. Okay, kind of rub it into the dough. And then we're going to just going to start kneading it again. The dough will get really silky when you start doing this because of all the fat in it. And we're going to just huh. keep kneading it. And then once this works in a little bit,
And then every once in a while, you want to kind of press it back and press it forward with your thumbs to make sure it's nice and firm. <laughs> Either um, it's fine. we can either put these on a, on a sheet pan, or you can put them in a cake pan. Um, you can keep them spaced out so they don't touch, or you can put them close together, have them be more of a break apart kind of roll. to get started on our flat icing um, just to put a little something sweet on top um, just to pull the whole thing together so we're gonna go ahead and do that now <laughs> Okay. 